we're here as promised with our first tutorial brought to you by Ron from Optimus. He's going to be showing you guys an amazing gardening project. We would love to give a special thank you to Nutrient, Frank's Hardware, Optimus, Santa Paula Chamber of Commerce for making this project possible. And now here's Ron. Thanks guys. Hope you enjoy. Hi, I'm Ron Merson with the Santa Paula Optimus Club here in Santa Paula. The Optimus Club is known as the friend of youth and we've been uh, in Santa Paula for more than 55 years putting on projects for the kids of Santa Paula and some of those you might know about are like the student of the month program, we uh, do um, the Halloween parade, the Christmas parade, the free popcorn at the movies at the park or at the Halloween carnival. But one of the projects we've done a number of years with the community services or park and rec department now is at Earth Day we've done the project where you can plant seeds in a pot and then take them home and water them and then they'll make flowers for Mother's Day. And so we have the opportunity working with Park and Rec to do that project here today as a do-it-yourself kit for you and I'm going to explain that to you today. So what we have is either in the packet that you're going to get there's a set of instructions that talk about how do you do the project, how do you build the pot, put it together, but also there's some information about a uh, secondary thing we're going to do is the um, we're going to the Optimus Club of Santa Paula is offering a contest and we're going to give out uh, awards to those folks that uh, keep a record of their project you can do a diary or a journal or a log whatever you like at home you can do it in a composition book or on a piece of paper you can do it on your computer and print it but then there are a number of three different ways that you can submit that which would be to take it to the, it's on this piece of paper that you're going to get. You can take it to the uh, city hall and put it in the mailbox there. Or you can take it to the park and rec department and put it in their ma mailbox there. Or there's an email address that you can submit it to. And uh, we're going to accept those compositions or those reports through August 1st. And then after that, we'll make some decisions. We'll have them judged and then we'll give out some awards. And I'll tell you more about that. So to start with, we're gonna, I'm going to show you how we can put this, potted, this pot together and put the seeds in it. First of all, we have in the kit, there's this potting pot here, the plastic cup. It has some holes in the bottom. That's so the water can drain out, and I'll show you what to do. To begin with, though, you could, if you have some stickers at home or anything you want, you can decorate this pot with the stickers and so on. The second thing you're going to do is there comes in there a circle of paper, newspaper that's cut. And that goes in the bottom of the pot. And the reason is, is there are holes in the bottom. We don't want all the dirt to drain out to begin with. So you just put the piece of newspaper in the bottom of the pot. The next thing you do, there's a bag that has the soil in it. They uh, measured this. Let's see how much is in there. There's a little bit extra just in case you spill like I did, but that's okay. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is using a pen or a pencil. You just put some little holes in here. Okay, so there's some holes. Try and work that. Then there's a little plastic cup. Be careful when you take the lid off. There's some seeds in it. And you just put a few seeds, just kind of tap on it and they'll go in the holes. Or you can use your fingers to make the hole bigger if you want, like that. Use your pencil or a pen or your fingers. The next thing you're going to do, you got the pot, you just gently, just gently push a little bit of dirt over the holes, a little bit of dirt over the holes to cover them up. You can do that. Just put that. And then the last thing you're going to do is you can use any kind of water, but you got to be careful. You just pour some water in it, about a quarter of a cup. Okay, now that you've added water and it's nice and moist, what we want you to do is you need to check your pot daily and you can do that just by touching it and see how damp it feels. When it starts to feel dry, put some more water in it, but don't put too much water in it because the seeds will spoil if you do that, but just make sure and check it daily. Now what we were talking about is that if you're going to do your, your log or your daily journal, keep track of what you're doing, then you want to mark down each day what you do, that you check the soil, and if it felt a little moist or still a lot wet or it's dry, and then mark down if you added some water, maybe even track how much water you've been putting in it. And then you can start reporting the date that maybe a little sprout comes up and you can start tracking that and you can draw some pictures. You can even take some photographs if you want to attach that. 
Um, and so then you'll have a record of your pot, of your plants growing in the pot, your decorated pot, and hopefully there'll be some flowers up by Mother's Day and you can give it to your mother or your grandmother or something like that. And they'll have a gift for Mother's Day. And one of the things, just to remind you again, that you see on this video, um, there's all kinds of places if you want to look at it again, either Facebook or Instagram, YouTube or Twitter, and you can look at the tutorial. Um, again, there's a contest being sponsored by the Optimus Club of Santa Paula and the Chamber of Commerce are doing it together. And if you keep this journal and you submit it to the three places, which is either to the Recreation Department office or Park and Rec office, and uh, or the City Hall, or you mail, email it to mtanaka at spcity.org, and you get that in by August 1st, then those entries will be judged and the Optimus Club and the Chamber of Commerce working together are gonna to be uh, getting, giving out some awards. And that's all that I have for now and thanks and I hope you enjoy your project.